What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and as you've seen in the intro, today's video will be about the Syrians and their homeworld. So if you like this kind of video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more alien species videos in the future. And you can go in the comments and pick the next species to do for the next video. Without further ado, let's just get to the video. Surya, a mid-rim planet that values nature and frowns upon pollution and technology, the Syrians call this beautiful planet home. They live in large buildings that take up a minimum of space, leaving plenty of land for farms and forests and nature. Visitors were allowed only in the outsider citadels, as well as foreign immigrants. And a Syrian year was 386 standard days, with each of those days having 27 standard hours. Surya boasts a population of 450 million, of which 85% are Syrian, 7% human, 4% Ithorian, and another 4% various other species. It is governed by a council of elders with a president as its leader. Takev City serves as the capital. Major import is technology, and major export is foodstuffs. Syrians are a humanoid mammalian species native to the planet Syria in the mid-rim. Their tall, tapering craniums house large, binary brains, enabling them to focus on multiple trains of thought at the same time. Beyond this unique feature, Syrians are very similar to humans physically, though they do possess two hearts that supply extra blood circulation in support of their brains. This calm, deep-thinking species was more commonly seen throughout the galaxy during the years leading up to the Clone Wars. Syrians became famous for their extraordinary thinking abilities, particularly in the fields of astrogation, cryptography, engineering, and economics. Their attention to every detail, no matter how minuscule, propelled Syrians into high-level careers as members of think tanks and law enforcement agencies, as well as into the ranks of the Jedi Knights. Syrians' remarkable minds blessed them with a precognitive ability matched only by the most powerful Jedi, and their peaceful and logical dispositions suited them well to that precious order of guardians. Most fascinating is the rumor that their dual brains enabled some Syrian Jedi to contemplate both the dark and light sides of the Force simultaneously. However, while Syrians fit well in the Jedi culture, their species was exempt from the Order's Old Republic-era requirement of mandatory celibacy. Surya suffered from a dangerously dwindling population, the result of a low birth rate among her people, as well as the fact that males aged more rapidly than females. The Syrians faced extinction if extreme measures were not adopted and thus the Jedi Order allowed its Syrian members to marry. Syrian society is traditionally matriarchal, mostly because females make up the majority of the population with an average ratio of 20 to 1. This proportion is the reverse of other similarly imbalanced species, such as the Gamorreans and the Hanemth, and is most likely comparable to the ratio of female to male Salonians, although there are no reliable Salonian population statistics. To make up for the disparity in mating partners, the Syrians practice polygamy, with each male taking one bond wife and several other honor wives. Unlike many other species, the Syrians as a culture seem able to handle the potential difficulties of polygamy because of their placid temperament. The planet Syria is ruled by a president who oversees a council of elders, a primarily female team of wise and venerable individuals who consider each side of an issue thoroughly and objectively. They allow for open discussion on political and legal matters, 
but after the elders have made a decision, the resolution is final and no appeal is permitted. It was this body that prevented Surya from joining the Republic and the Separatists alike during the Clone Wars, largely in an attempt to preserve the planet's natural resources from greedy senators who would exploit them. The world of Surya is a lush, verdant paradise, and Surian culture centers on honoring that environment. Surians value living in harmony with nature and therefore have set in place stringent laws to protect their surroundings from hazardous waste and technological contamination. By nature, they shun technology and powered transports, although they have consented to the construction of outsider citadels in certain areas of their planet for beings from more developed worlds to reside. Unfortunately, these citadels have become overcrowded and polluted. Meditation and contemplation are central to life for all Sureans, not just to those who follow the path of the Jedi. To enhance their focus during these sessions of reflection, Sureans often employ Kasha meditation crystals, which have a calming and mind-clearing effect on the user. The crystals are decorated with special etchings created by Sureans artisans to harness their natural harmonic energy. Sureans also hold an extreme reverence for the ancient traditions of their people. Although a female Surian typically has only one name, a male has three, the origins of which are derived from those of his father and grandfather. These names are arranged in any order based on cadence and to make the whole name meaningful. A female, meanwhile, will only take an additional name if she becomes a bond wife, adopting the name of her husband's grandfather for official matters. This is an interesting custom given the Surian's matriarchal culture, seeming to indicate that while females are the guiding force driving their society, family lineage is actually passed down through the male line. An additional display of the importance of tradition in Surian society can be found in their clothing, as much of their modern garb harks back to garments of old. Elders and other prestigious members of society prefer to wear a special surcoat, the style of which resembles an ancient mantle of honor. Syrians also retain great enthusiasm for the study of early fighting techniques, especially the art of using a shyarn, a light, arc-edged sword used in honor duels. Syrians send their children to train at Shyarn Ado training schools, and masters of this type of swordplay are featured in well-publicized tournaments and demonstrations. Shyarn are notably distinctive in that when they connect in battle, the curved swords become magnetically attached, making for some very physically challenging and sometimes brutal combat. Some say that as a form of catharsis, Syrian duelers release every bit of aggression that they possess while participating in the sport, which is perhaps why it is so appealing to the normally peaceful people. The Shyarn form has also developed into a fine art, as many of its choreographed exercises have become a popular mode of dance expression. Troops of Shyarn dancers travel Surya, and they have even been seen throughout the galaxy, displaying the majesty of this ancient form of self-defense. Despite these examples of Surians, Respecting time-honored customs, it was the drive for technology and progress that nearly had unfortunate consequences for the young people of Syria, and possibly the entire planet. During the Clone Wars, many youthful Syrians spent their leisure time in the outsider citadels, where they were exposed to the luxuries of other worlds and became desirous of such objects for themselves. They sought to radically change their culture's ways, but in reality this behavior was deviously being encouraged by agents of the Separatists, specifically the Trade Federation, who held these youths uh, captives. Fortunately for Surya, the Jedi intervened and the young hostages were safely returned to their families. Sadly, the Clone Wars continued to be unkind to Surya and its people, as the planet chose neutrality during the war, Republican separatist armies fought a brutal battle on Syria to prevent it from allying itself to the other side. In the process, much of the pristine world was destroyed, and many inhabitants lost their lives, including the Syrian president, Bo Ro Tara, who was assassinated before the Republic could claim a victory. Following the Clone Wars, the Syrians readopted their 
isolationist stance, and reports from that world are scant to non-existent. And obviously, Kiadi Mundi is the most famous Syrian. And, you know, he pops up in Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, both versions of the Clone Wars, and, you know, some other bits and bobs. Impossible. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. And that is a bit about Syrians and their home planet of Syria. You can let me know what you thought of Syrians in the comments section down below. Did you learn anything new? And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.